this is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi, Chef KD, and Lindsay Anderson. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to Bad Bones Boudin, Cajun Meat here in Port Allen, Louisiana. KD, I know you got some food coming. Well, hey, I man, I come here, I get hungry. You get hungry. You stay hungry. You're about like <laughs> me. You make fun of me, but you stay pretty hungry. <laughs> Lindsay, I guess you're just watching your figure. You don't eat much. Though. Look, y'all, I eat. I eat. I'm telling you, I do. Well, I love food. You well, you should have been out. with us because we ate pretty good the other night. We were down in Golden Meadow, so oh, anyway. that's going to be on the load today. And Gary, Gary, I don't know how you kept up with all you did. I mean, well, a rundown of what no, you don't did. Don't talk about me keeping up with you. Nobody keep up with you. <laughs> so the place ain't bad. I had to, well, I had the Calico Rodeo, and I was down there for three days, and then that's why I wore my Calic, my Calico on. This is got Paradise Louise on it, but that, my grandkids, Calico, I got to be a Calico faithful. They put on one of the best rodeos, the longest running, oldest one. Uh, and then next week we got those Jesuit Blue Jays, you know, with that Swole Fest. It, it was just, it's just a fun day. It's a lot of family atmosphere, a lot of good food there come from catering Cajun too for three days. So it, it was fun. So we'll bring that. Probably when we come back, we're going to go straight to the Catholic High Rodeo. We're going to have the sounds and scenes for three days over there. Pick out some of it. And we got to tell them you. you you got the turtle. Thank you. She's going to get her head out that shell and tell us about that turtle. <laughs> you going to do about that. And, and KD, you got to make a fishing trip. We got some fishing reports. We got it coming on. We're going to make another visit with our good friends over there at Godet Boats. And we got to go out there and get pounded. Hey, you we got some hot news off the press on CCA. So don't go anywhere. We got a lot of Paradise, Louisiana. Your Louisiana coming right back at you. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. Celebrate your mom, dad, or grad with a Benny's gift card. They'll feel loved getting their car cleaned inside or out, or getting gas, snacks, their oil changed, and more. Available at any Benny's or Benny'sCarWash.com. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Hey everybody, I'm Brian Hightower, Catholic High School Class of 1997 and the Catholic High School Director of Alumni Relations. Jenny Ridge. Jenny is the Associate Director of Alumni Relations. We're here at the Captain's Party for the 2018 Catholic High School Fish and Rodeo at Moran's Marina in Fouchon, Louisiana. Stay tuned to Paradise, Louisiana for more from the Catholic High School Fish and Rodeo. My name is Grayson Bidger. I get Episcopal, and I'm here with the Catholic High from Chico Radio. I'm, I'm TJ M. Uh, I go to Catholic High, and I'm 14 years old. I'm Daniel Sullivan, 14 years old. I will be attending Catholic High for freshman next year, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. I'm in ninth, 
Eighth grade, going to ninth grade. Catholic High, caught him offshore at one of the last rigs. Now that's a big fish. Now where, where were y'all fishing? What you caught it on? On one of the tiny, tiny rigs we were going out on. Stand in front of your fish. Stand in front of your big old fish, boy. Can you swing down? I've been at the way station for nine out of the last ten. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I go to Erath High School and we caught Red Snapper and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Welcome to the Catholic High Rodeo 2018. Congressman Gary Payne's here. Yes, last year you were the star. You had a big snapper. I, I think you sweetened the pot this year, right? We, we did, we did. We figured if we uh, if we win this year, we want to give ourselves a prize. So we went ahead and, and sweetened the pot a little bit. We're, uh, we're doing a check. We're doing a, a big cooler. We're doing a mud. Uh, all sorts of things to, to, to raise the profile. Of you got a lot of help today. We got a team. Who's this team up? Well, we got we, we went ahead and brought in some pros because we, we really want to try and win the, the check and the cooler and everything. So so we have uh, some some folks that are professionals. We have Ralston, Kala, and Coco. Uh, all these folks are professional fishers. They're gurus. Lots of experience. Go ahead and show me pythons, Coco. Look at that. I mean. Clearly, uh -uh. she knows what she's doing. Oh, I, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. If, you know, I want you to enjoy yourself this weekend. I'm sure all the praise that you've been getting for the work you did in Congress on the rest of the situation and other things. I want to thank you. Keep giving us that money so we can get our coach straight. Uh, thank you for all you do. Yeah, uh, stay there. Don't run for the office. Not just that. Just stay there. Appreciate it. Thank Good luck. You. We're going to have a camera on the, on the boat with him tomorrow when they're out there catching those pepper and whatever. Catching. See if he can defend his title. So stay tuned for more of the Catholic High Rodeo. Catholic, the Catholic High Illumina Rodeo 2018. They got a redemptive cover. Where? You look, orange? You look, you look black. good in orange. Isn't that good? I don't look good in anything. <laughs> Stay tuned for more, Paradise. You kind of look like a highway cone, but it's all right. <laughs>
Hunter Andrus and Team ABL Fabricators. Dwayne Andrus, Captain, ABL um, Fabricators. Fabricators. <laughs> Chad and Lindley, ABL Fabricators. Chad Bonnie, ABL Fabricators. Guys, that, that's going to be a good one in that. And that albino snapper, huh? Yes, sir. Tell me where you were fishing. What area? West Delta blocks. Went a little deep water to find some of the bigger fish and uh, pulled up some nice ones. We're thinking we're going to have about a 98 pound stringer. So, I'd like to see what they hit on the scale. Uh, we're going to follow you. What, All right. What was your best bait? Uh, Hortails. Live Hortails. Close to 100. Who's going to carry that stringer? All right, Calcutta, 96.73, What's yes, he told me? 97 pounds. Told me incredible, that. guys. Missed it by a few ounces. That's it. Get over here, Captain Paul, we had the Cat Car Roto. You just came in one of the best hauls I've seen in a long time. No, I, I, what I, I, area were you fishing in? Uh, how y'all put up with that wind for the last three days? Oh, we just, we took a beating, but it paid off. We went all the way to deep Green Canyon, and it paid off. We caught some fish. We had to work for them, but it paid off. Yeah, a bunch of fish. What was the best bait that y'all used now? Uh, mostly, mostly pogies. We caught most of them chumming. Yep. Right. Great job, thank you, Captain. No problem. Day, yeah. yeah it was. You ever had it rougher? <laughs> <laughs> to tell the uh, about five years ago, it was rougher. In 2012, uh, 2012, we had uh, let's see, 40, 43, and six to eight foot seat.
The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Caroline. That's what I'm talking about. A sweet Caroline. Look at uh -oh. you. Sweet Caroline. Alive. Yeah, baby. You can't eat and talk at the same time. So oh. y'all talk and I eat. How's that? You got to use just your report. This is your turtle trip. Gary, I think we got plenty to do here. We might not have a piece of turtle in there, huh? No. In, in not, our big one, we actually ended up letting him go back. He had to be like 100 pounds, 80 year old turtle. I mean, we're bigger than Gary. Whoa. <laughs> Bigger than my turtle. Oh, did he snap older. as much as Gary? He you did. mean older than he Gary? Did. I pulled him up and I was like, Gary, get out of the water. <laughs> I want to give a special thanks to Greg Trabo. He's the one who showed me how to do this turtle noodling and was a great guy. Just we had so much fun. He taught me everything about the hooks. So thank you so much, Greg. You rock. I'm here with Greg Trabo. He's our turtle catching expert. Look, we've got a, a lively one right here <laughs> who wants to move around. But I want to talk to y'all today about how he has fashioned these awesome noodles right here, how we catch these. So, Greg, where are you from? Sorrento. Sorrento. You doing a lot of turtle catching in Sorrento? Oh, uh, a little bit. Okay, so you've got some years of experience. Yeah. So, can you tell everybody how you caught these and, and just tell me about these that you Yeah, we call right these noodles. Uh, just nothing but these little swim noodles. We cut, put a piece of BBC pipe in there. And I got some uh, number 18 nylon on there with a, with a little small two odd hook. I bait it with brim, perch, uh, any kind of fish really. And uh, throw it in the water and just wait for it to take off. Okay. Let me chase them, chase them down and pull them in the boat. <laughs> And what, what test line is this on here? It's a uh, number 18 nylon, so it's about 250 pound test. And that's good because, you know, the biggest alligator snapping turtle is actually about 250 pounds. So that's, get big. that's perfect. Now it's time for us to go check the rest of our line, so we'll see y'all in a few minutes. I'm here with Travo. We've been throwing out some some lines out here waiting for some turtles to bite. We've had some catfish hook on as well, but we're looking for turtles. See all these little orange noodles back here? That's a sign that you're in Noodleopolis. And we see one right now that's headed to the bank. And Travo here just told me that when they're headed to the bank, that means you probably have a turtle on. That's a giant one. Oh, Look at that. Oh, my God. And that's check this out. That's why you use 250 pound caps, because you might catch one of these. It didn't even take us too long to catch him, but look, this, this guy's old. He's big. We're going to let him go. He's looking in like 75 years of history, right here. So I think he deserves so it. So look how big he is. Look how big he is, baby. We think he needs to go back. So get, take a good look at him, though. And y'all, this noodling thing is so much fun. Trabo, right. thanks, thanks for showing us how to do this, brother. Appreciate Trabo. it. Trabo is the expert. He's the man. He's awesome. He's, this is not happy. Time for you to go back home. Bye, buddy. Whoa. India, baby, which one did you catch? And did you tell me that he has a little worm in his mouth? It's a fake worm, and and he can catch fish. Um, fish think it's a just a worm swiggling around in the water, and it and he's opening his mouth, and he and whenever the fish go try to eat that worm, he chomps them up. Good job. And then Rush, which one did you catch? 
an alligator. Is it this soft one right here? That's the one it's a, it's a soft shell turtle, huh? It's a soft shell turtle. And then the water. You caught him. Um, was he hard to pull up? Did, was it hard to pull him out of the water? Rush? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. Celebrate your mom, dad, or grad with a Benny's gift card. They'll feel loved getting their car cleaned inside or out, or getting gas, snacks, their oil changed, and more. Available at any Benny's or Benny'sCarWash.com. Welcome back to the H and H Rodeo and Tournament Report. Gary, you want to tell us about the Catholic High results? Well, we had the Catholic results are outstanding. We didn't have enough time to put all. They had every division you want to imagine, from youth division, and we had some kids out there weighing in some fish. They're not in Catholic High yet, but they're in feeder schools, and they, you can't wait to get there. So Catholic High is, is live and well. The Alumni Association is so strong, one of the strongest in the world that did it. Some of the outstanding things that y'all saw on the show, the Flying Tiger, <laughs> was out there, not only did they catch the albino, they caught an albino snapper, and a pretty big one. They caught a 28 plus pound snapper, which can win any tournament right now, especially in this, in this part of the country. He had a, a 96 plus five fish cow cutter. That's serious. Five, pretty big snapper. They were coming out of that same little mother load down there. See when you catch snapper, whether it's mangrove or not. Now, Mr. Rudy, uh, his boys did another one and came back. They got back in the winter circle with their mangrove sapper. Five trout, cow cutter, you saw in that. Ed Sexton, his grandson, and Tony Bruce went to Venice. And the big thing on that, right they didn't catch a fish where they normally do. Everybody said, oh, they used to run from there. But they decided to fish there and they come in for the way in. Where they always fish and catching those big ones, the river's up. We don't know what happened, whether it was full moon. They did not catch a fish, but they were so persistent. They went out back. They had 40 something fish from three and a half to the top fish is 688. 6.88. B. Tommy Vidrine, 6.80. But nobody came close to that top stringer. 28 plus, almost 29 pounds. All Tommy had to do was feed him one more shrimp. <laughs> yeah. One more shrimp he'd have had it. No, he fishing pokers too, though. But these guys were fishing a lot of shrimp. And uh, be surprised. Uh, congratulations to them. And you saw it. So I just well, had a, some outstanding. We had some youngsters. I'll call some other outstanding fish. They had some lemon fish. Yep. The biggest thing I want to give a shout out to the people that went offshore. Uh, even, KD, you know, it started picking up when we was there. We stayed in the back. Couldn't fish out rocks where people have been catching the big trout. And Grand Isle right now, it was a, a test to stay on them boats. Chris Moran said he got wet about six or seven times in his boat. Either fishing, a lot of rocking, a lot of people holding their back when they come to the weigh-in. So congratulations to Catholic High well, that, School. That's not only the, the big tournament of last weekend, we got another monster this week. That's right, that's right. So. Some of the things coming up, we've got the School Fest Fishing Rodeo at Sand Dollar Marina. The benefits go to Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, and that's going to be Thursday through Sunday. We've also got the False River Cookie Jar Bass Tournament. I want to go there. <laughs> 7 till midnight at the um, Express Launch Fees, $40 per boat, and you can call Storm Randall for more information on that, 225-937-0489. That's it, CCA. Man, we got a lot of new news on that. We have got confirmation. Brian Dorsey from Youngsville is officially our first tag redfish winner. So that's a done deal. 
But what the rest of the story is, Eric Landry from New Iberia, he caught another tagged redfish at Marsh Island around Vermilion Bay, but he wasn't registered for the tournament. Oh. All right. The third tag redfish was caught and released on Rockefeller. The days leading up to the tournament, you don't think you can catch these fish? You had three other tag redfish eligible for this year's star, but it was a little bit early because they turned them loose. You know, a week or so ahead, they released these. Now, that was Lafitte, Fusho, and Grand Isle. So guys, get out there and catch you one. Now, just in, Chris told me that there was one weighed in at Sand Dollar Sunday. Afternoon, Gary Kinlear of Luling weighed in another tagged redfish. He is a star registered fisherman, so hopefully that'll be confirmed by next week. But that, just to tell you how great things are, and then on the freshwater side, one of the big daddies. Well, right, but before we go there, I wanna remind people, since we were getting different order right now, Hargrove Foundation, don't forget their big tournament coming up at Sand, I mean, excuse me, at Bridgeside on June 16th. We'll give another shout out for them. Now give me that fresh water, I'm gonna tell you. Hey, we, we got a report right here. Now, I, I got okay. this. I'm, How many I'm years? How many years? 21st year. 21st, 21st year, year. Turning I, the I streets. remember fishing oh. with my, my, my wife's cousins. Them all work for Turner Industries and Nichols. And the whole Turner Industry deal, you know, we, they fished it. It was a bunch of boats. I never been. I come in second or third, I forget, with fishing with a cousin. And I had that big fish and got off a bango lure right at the boat. So I, I, th I, would, I would love to say I won one of these, but all these reports come from Steve Fontana. Steve and his wife, Marcia, sent this for me to help me to remember some of uh, I guess the people at Turner are so busy getting it. Steve has fished this thing every year. His, him and his partner, Brad Bullock, have won over half of these tournaments. Wow. And anytime you fish Bell River, you better get ready. 21 yep. years of that, Steve Fontana, you can see on the list right now where it's still KD, you can look at him and see who, who the least the top 10 are, because well, congratulations. Well, you know, one, one thing about it, in the top five places between second and fourth, seven hundredths of a pound difference in those three places. Well, first place was 1337, Daniel Parrish, Willie Couch, imagine that. Second, Scott Buxton, Eddie Delatte, 1283. Brad Bowie, your buddy Steve Fontana, 1279. Daniel Alcran, Wade LeBlanc, 1276. Ron Falsetta, Vic Calvarusa, 1163. And that's some tight weights, can I tell you? But it's getting to that time of year to spillway. I went and checked out some areas. I could see bass and brim in the areas like a lot of the canals is still right on the edge chasing crawfish. Look, it won't be long. It's gonna be game on the spillway. You're going to have a ton I got, of reports. I'm already getting reports. Uh, Mr. Badron, he won't tell exactly where. But here, Mooney took a friend of his, and uh, they had over 100 brim. Uh, I've been getting a lot of reports from Sackley coming from there. Everybody wanting to go. And I hope to make a trip with George Shaheen down there in the march because down there by in Black. He's bringing and the food, Gibson, I'm in. Uh, kitchen. Uh, uh, George bringing the food, I'm in. All right. Hey. Stay. Well, let's, let's, let's see what else. We got any more tournament reports? That's it. That's KD? it. We got a bunch of fishing to talk about. That's it. All right. A fishing report coming up. That's it. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back with, guys, I probably, everywhere I go, everybody's talking about fishing. Great one day, terrible the next. Stay tuned. We're going to share the great news with you. neighbor Tony, he looked at me and said, man, you're crazy. You're about to leave out in this weather. And I said, sir, I have a tag fish to go catch you. I won this beautiful boat catching a tag redfish in Venice, Louisiana. There's 100 redfish waiting. It all starts Memorial Day weekend. Sign up today. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Outfish's original powerbait by 45% disperses a supercharged scent field that attracts more fish and triggers more strikes. Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Talk about news. Gary and I were talking about this earlier. 
a lot of these fishermen in Toledo Bend are catching so many big fish, they don't even turn them in. But the Lunker Replica Program for this year, May of 17 to May of 18, Toledo Bend Lake Association awarded 45 Lunker Bass replicas to, at the Sealy Outdoors Big Bass Splash at Cypress Bend Park, Sunday, May 20th. Now, Donna Medine, the coordinator, presented the replicas to the anglers, Arkansas, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Texas. Of the 45 fish, 33 in the 10-pound class, five in the 11-pound class, and one in the 12-pound class. That's unbelievable. You talk about one of the hottest fish in the country. But you realize it's down from last year. Now, there's a lot of reasons it might have been down because you know, they said it was a grass problem. A lot of people were fishing. A lot of people caught fish in that grass. Now they're going, they calling it offshore. <laughs> fishing yep. big, deep water, maybe a lot of people. You probably fished before. I'm not used to that. I'm used to fishing grass, fishing spinner bait, lunk a little, top water. These guys are using a crank bait. If you look like, look like a tennis shoe on the lip on it. They out there <laughs> driving. They, 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 they use my they tennis shoe oh, and they, they were going to put And they throwing it a half a mile and, <laughs> and it really is. It, it KBD bait. And I mean, they're catching some fish. A lot of them young guys I fished with not too long ago. They're you know, doing it now. But on a more serious But, but there's a lot of other, could be, a lot of people, once they get a replica, maybe they don't do it or they don't take the time to go weigh it. Or go, you got to bring it in, you got to weigh it and they got to register it. So some people don't do it. So there's still a bunch of big fish. There's still a number one bass lake, big bass lake in the country. You know, on a more serious note, uh, going into our national fishing and boating week this week, Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries, Brian Dore, share that story, because this, this, the moral of this story is be safe on the water. So if, for y'all who don't know, Byron Dory, he was a Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries cadet he was about halfway through his training program to become an agent, and he drowned in Iberia Parish on a weekend, uh, on his weekend off from training. So, the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries decided to raise a flag as a memorial for him, and that way, all the future cadets will be reminded of Byron whenever they use this flagpole for their everyday training when they raise and lower the flag. So, um, you know, just be safe out there, and. Keep him in mind too. You know, stories like that, we, we hate to hear that sort of thing and just be safe. Yep, and also the Dore family, McElhenney Corporation, Tabasco, and the Wildlife Agents Foundation put up the money for this. Tribute to the family. We really appreciate it. Now we got some big awards and big every year. They amaze me every year. The National Archery and School Program, very, very big. Louisiana got their archery and school program. The Louisiana Wildlife and Fishers to support it. It's been going on for years, <laughs> and for years, the, the schools up around Alexandria, Benton, and all them, Kingston Elementary School in Benton captured the elementary national championship in Louisville, Kentucky, in May 10th to the 12th. This last couple of weeks. It is the third time Louisiana school has won a national title. Benton Middle School won the first in 2016, taking the middle school national championship. Billing Elementary won last year's championship. Over 179 other schools, Kingston took home this year's championship over 171 other schools. So, Gee, that's serious. Hey, congratulations, y'all. Y'all keep it up. Congratulations to the wildlife and fishers that support this. Anytime you go to hunting and fishing days, you see them out there. They're going all over the state. We covered a few months back. It was at, uh, used to be the old Hunters Run. They called it Bridgeview now. Correct. It was, it was, uh, there's so many kids in schools from all over. It was just unbelievable in the state. Uh, you see all them high school, just like the high school bass tournaments right now. I, I can't say enough about how these people are supporting these programs and how much we keeping our kids, our kids and our future, our future in the outdoors, how we keeping them in the outdoors. So thank you for that. KD. Well, National Fishing Week, Boating yeah. Week, Louisiana, time to renew your license. <laughs> time to renew your license. That's it. Don't Go get, Even the people 
You're getting your elder license or your uh, I senior, don't. You've been out of for so long. Your senior license, excuse me. Your senior <laughs> license. Just be sure and remember that you still got to pay you five dollars. Well, I got. I got Unless a sign on my desk. I got a sign on my desk. I can't adult today. For some of them days that you just feel like you ain't quite up to par. But anyway, we're gonna be right back. Got a whole ton, a boatload of fishing reports coming right back at you. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on. Please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Clint Godet with Godet Aluminum Boats. Stay tuned for Paradise, Louisiana. Yes, sir. They're using live shrimp. Almost. It's one of our most popular brands that we're building right now. It's a 29 foot. Uh, most of them twin engines. Right now, we, uh, we're about six months, you know, from start to finish. Um, When's the busiest time of year? Busiest time of the year is usually the springtime. How's that big, big offshore boat coming? That's good. That's good. Um, we got a uh, 38 foot catamaran we're designing right now. It's gonna probably starting up, hopefully, not too much longer. It's gonna have two 350s on it. Uh, step tall, all that good stuff. You got a few of your boats out of Venice, I know, so I've seen a lot. Yeah, we got some out of Venice. We got a few running out of Grand Isle here, 38. Um, now, when are you gonna catch the fish? Probably when you get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll come back and see you, but like... Let's see. You're going to believe in that black cloud, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
on the first one. That's a 96. Come on, be something good. Something good, be something good. Come on, Clay, I gotta see him, boy. Hey, we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. 
ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. For generations, anglers from across the globe have put their trust in Abu Garcia because out here on the water, we know our science is your religion. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo, featuring up to 24 pounds of max drag, designed for leverage and power, built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo, Abu Garcia for life. Welcome to Berkeley, Abu Garcia. Fishing report, this is my time of the year because fish are biting. Gary, Jody's at it again. Jody, Captain Jody Dunwar, I'm gonna tell you what, he keeps sending them, he's probably fishing every day, every other day, he's catching fish. He, he's got a lot of kinds that are coming, so he's doing a good job of promoting South Louisiana. He's always there. The only trouble, Jody, you got is, uh, I'm not going to tell you to quit sending them because you send them every day in different groups, different people. You're giving them a great report. I need you to be a little more specific. I know where you're putting in. I know what landing you go out of in Empire. You mean South Louisiana ain't close enough? No, but I, I want you to give a little <laughs> more idea whether you're fishing east or west of the river, where you're fishing, what bay. And you still ain't, we ain't made a trip yet to put it on TV so we can watch exactly how you do it. So well, we're waiting on that. Thank you again. Yeah, yeah. He, and he's calling him out in public, too. <laughs> oh, have you got to do it? You know, this is in a public viewing area. <laughs> do you like them people do on talk? You know, whether you live or whatever you're doing, it, you, you tell people like this. I want to be phony, but I'm telling Send you how much, I, I know. <laughs> how much I appreciate and the people down in Plaquemine Parish appreciate you promoting Plaquemine Parish. So, uh, Bo, yeah, at Bo Dunn. The Bo Donals, Grand Isle, Bossa Bossa. See how they're catching those fish all the way out on the coast. Now the speckled trout in Grand Isle is hit or miss. That's right. You can't get out on them rocks. Some people catch them right at the beach. And if you're tough, just like the people going offshore, you stay on them common out of rocks. Everybody in the last few weeks catching big trout. Not in Venice, not in Cocodry, but in Grand Isle is the common out of rocks. And you get there, there'll be a bunch of boats. You got to be patient. You be patient when the tide moves. They fish in live shrimp, live uh, croaker on the bottom, or they throw in the cast nets for those pokies. So. Well, you know, same thing with the OMRGO rocks. There'll be a boat every 50 yards lined up fishing them because they're catching fish on them. But you know, Dwayne Chapman says this pick, and uh, man, look. They had a few nice becks, had a good trip. Uh, he said he found a, a, a big redfish had a hook hole in his mouth. So uh, apparently he caught somebody else's red. But uh, uh, there's a whole bunch going on. It was a little rough. He had the all man's tournament. And, uh, and, and there was a lot of boats. A lot of boats. There was still a lot of wind. I don't care where you went on the coast. Well, I didn't get my normal reports from, from the southwest. But Vermillion, the river is falling. More fish will be coming from Vermillion. You see that tag redfish was caught? But uh, it won't be long. You're going to be hearing about big traps come, coming from the Oh, yeah, it, it's not, any day. Not yet. But you know what? We shared a really neat fishing trip. We had a good time. Went out with Captain John Chauvin, fantastic fishing charters. We're going to have that for you know, just coming up in the next few weeks. Yeah. we got so uh, much going on. Y'all need to look at this one because we had Erin Freeview, so she was on camera a lot. We got a... We got her fishing a little bit, but KD was starting to strap it on me, and I was sort of getting a little a you know, teeth. I caught the first fish. We bet a dollar on the first fish. I won that dollar. I haven't got it yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. We said every hardhead was minus a dollar, so you caught two hardheads. No, so I didn't say that. You remind me of somebody. You always come up with different rules. We got to have a good rule. <laughs> You're you coming over. I ain't nobody said nothing about that. You see, they play that on me because I can't hear. They say, yeah, we said it. You just didn't hear. I don't hear well, that. Well, where you hearing me? No, all I'm gonna say, we're wasting too much. 
We're wasting too much time. Don't you take up for me. I got you yet. I, I owe you I got already bud, with, yeah. that, with that turtle story. I owe you already. Uh -huh. now, I'm going to go back to say, though, KD did. He was catching them. He was using live shrimp, and he was throwing it. He was throwing at them cuts, and they were throwing way up against the windy bank, and the tide was starting to move out. And thanks to the captain, he knew exactly what to do, get away from that bad wind. He put us right on the fish. We caught a you know, mess of redfish and, a, and some flat. I mean, we didn't catch a flounder, excuse me. Drum, the drum was pretty famous. He said, I told Joe Mack, Joe Mack said, he ain't never seen a pretty drum in my life. I said, they were, they had the color. They, they were more beige looking color. They, they just didn't look black. They, didn't right. have no worms on them or nothing. They let me tell you pretty. something. Once I made that fake crab meat with them and stuffed we were, them in a filet and baked them, up. that was pretty good. Yeah. But you know, one thing you were saying, I, I put y'all on, you know, catching those fish like that on the black drum. The trick on those were, they would sit there and nibbling, just like a chica pin nibbles on a worm. It cork, bobble, bobble. I'd sit there sometimes for two minutes with them playing with a live shrimp, and then when that cork would start to ease off, just like when you're fishing catfish on the bottom. He always got the first class at the perfect cut, too. Oh, I that. And I don't I'm fishing the back the boat. Nah, that nah, means I'm, I can outcast you. I'm not an excuse you. maker. What can I say? But that's what we got now. We got fresh water. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch of fresh water. So Brian Branch, he got to fish two weekends in a row in Ethel, Louisiana. And he brought his nephew and his son, so Cohen Brown and Brian Allen, they, they fished this pond out there and um, they had a really good time. His nephew, Cohen, caught three bass. He only got to keep one, but still caught three, so good job. And most of the fish were uh, sackalay. They caught the fish using shiners and they probably got out to the pond around 11.30 and ended up leaving it for So good job, y'all. Good job. Uh, we have another picture from Connor. He's seven years old out of Atchery, Louisiana, fishing in Toledo Bend, and this was Wednesday the 31st. It's a good job. We've also got another picture from John Bernard. And then we have Ron Amy, Cesar Garcia. They had a tough day in Delacroix. They caught two specks and one red. Better than nothing. You must have had the black cloud with you. I yeah, had a black day. cloud on me. I, that's the toughest guy. They go every day. That's the guy that gives the report. And let me tell you what. It, it, what Ron Amy and Cesar, they, they, as long as they fish with their, their old Navy veteran, he keeps that log. And he keeps that log. I'm gonna bring him back on the show. We've had him on there before, and he tells you what he was doing. No, a good uh, fisherman's James got right is still catching fish that buy saw, and we were talking about wearing the little bass out on the frog. He he ain't giving me enough information, but uh, James. Well, just you can see what kind of frog he's using for the go picture. To you. you was in the spillway. You tell us what's going on in the spillway. Spillway's close. They from catch from fish Lay, everything. in a few places, but the it's red. not quite there. But they're doing really good. Pat's Bay and some of the little uh, ponds in the uh, pigeon side. But uh, just like Ron, Amy, and Caesar had a bad day in Delacroix, well, my partner Randy Lambert goes out there with Jonathan and Mark. They back at the landing for 11 a.m. They got 13 reds and 21 bass using spinner baits and some little speed crawls, okay? And it's just hard to beat. Well, I get a call from my old buddy. I just listen to this intro. I got him, Kevin, ah, they biting, I done caught 180. Two days, you won't take Matt out there, I guarantee you we gonna catch some. Mike McMullen, you know, him and his brother put the thunder he together. he raise his own crickets? He'd raise everything out there in the country. No, he don't raise his own crickets, but I can tell you what, we went through 200 of them pretty quick. We were sitting there, he says, well, I bet we don't have but 75, 80. Oh, Mike, no, we got 125 plus. All right, 142. Brim, three and a half hours, in Blind River. Uh, hey, it's kind of hard to hide what we're doing. You can check out a little bit of this video. But you know the neatest thing about it, this is the kind of thing you can go out there and do. Middle of the day, we left at 12.30, caught a mess of brim. Matthew reeled in three or four on his own, and he had enough. He sat down out there, and I'm like, okay, what's this all about? Yeah, but, he used to catch them big bass. You know, <laughs> yeah, about I got him programmed. Mike yeah, trying to say, catch brim. Where you are y'all fishing? I mean, not, not to no, give No, we're fishing out, right under the interstate. You kayak, bateau, big boat, bay boat, wherever you want to go, you can go. You can have a cover over, you get sun is hot, you can get out of the sun. Great fish. And not just there, 
anywhere along the interstates or the other oh, you right. ways, that, whether you go west, whether you go east, whether you're fishing Lake Pontchartrain, right now, when that sun is high, you get up under those bridges, you can catch a lot of fish. They do it to lead them in. You saw how them sackalay come right up against them pollens. They catch them big old sackalay, white perch, excuse me, whatever you want to do. Well, I got to end on a good note, because some days you go fishing and you riding. You're not doing a lot of fishing. So Matt and I are riding out a pigeon, and I come around the corner and I said, uh-oh, camera time, because there's this little boat pulled to the side, and they got the guy and his girlfriend, they trash talking the guy. They got a big old rope tied up in a tree, leaning cypress tree, and they just talking to him. He won't swing. So the rest is history. Here they are. And they are just having, what happens when you can't catch fish? You just jump you on the yourself, rope swing. You make yourself alligator bait. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. look, when Gracie made that swing, I said, look, she, I said, can you out swim that current? Oh, yeah, yeah. I said, how about that gator? She shifted gears, can I tell you? <laughs> Check it out. That's it. This week, Paradise, Louisiana, guess what? We'll see you next week. And then okay. You get your husband Mike to take you out and catch some fish. I want to see you on camera like I did last time, catching fish. Even a turtle. It, I was about right. to say, turtles aren't good enough for you. <laughs> you make a lot better show Gary, on guess what? than we do. Look, you know what this is? Two. Do it to one, man. We got you outnumbered. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We'll see y'all next week, Paradise, Louisiana. Thank you for watching. God bless. Love y'all. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products. Veterans Health Foundation. And by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.